Amy Marie was flying from Chicago to Tennessee with her young daughter, Alyssa, when an unexpected encounter left her shaken. As a single working mom, Amy faced numerous challenges. She eagerly anticipated the upcoming long weekend with her family, hoping for some much needed rest. Amy was known for her strong will and assertiveness, qualities that served her well in her line of work. However, the past few weeks had been particularly taxing, with intense shifts and sleepless nights with Alyssa taking their toll. All she craved now was some sleep and comfort, but that was not what fate had in store for her on this flight. Navigating down the aisle with her bags and daughter in tow, Amy eventually found her seat in an empty three-seat row. She settled Alyssa into the window seat, hoping for a smooth journey ahead. Amy settled into the middle seat, silently hoping for an empty aisle seat beside her. However, her wish remained unfulfilled as a middle-aged woman took the seat, emitting an audible sigh of annoyance. Despite Amy's welcoming smile, it was clear this wasn't a passenger pairing destined for harmony. Amy sensed the woman's discontent, but little did she know the extent of it. It became increasingly apparent that something was amiss, prompting Amy to initially attribute it to Alyssa's presence. Aware that some travelers weren't thrilled about sitting next to a two-year-old, Amy assumed this was the cause of the woman's agitation. However, it soon became evident that the issue ran deeper. Through a series of tuts, sighs, and deliberate shifts to the far edge of her seat, the woman's dissatisfaction became palpable. Unable to ignore the tension any longer, Amy mustered the courage to inquire if something was troubling her fellow passenger. Yes, the woman replied sharply. As a matter of fact, something is bothering me. When was the last time you washed your clothes? Amy was taken aback, her jaw dropping in disbelief, but she wasn't the only one stunned by the woman's audacity. Unbeknownst to both Amy and the woman, a man sitting behind them had overheard the exchange and swiftly pulled out his phone to record the unfolding confrontation. Excuse me. Amy responded, trying to make sense of the woman's unwarranted hostility. The woman proceeded to criticize Amy's attire pointing out a milk stain on her top and leggings. Amy glanced down, suddenly recalling the hurried moments earlier when she had fed Alyssa and rushed to catch their flight. The woman then went a step further, claiming Amy stinks of baby milk. Amy, feeling embarrassed and defensive, sniffed her top. Although she had sprayed herself with perfume in the airport restroom before boarding, she couldn't change her clothes as her luggage was already stowed in the undercarriage. Despite Amy's efforts to freshen up, the woman persisted, chastising her for not presenting herself better as a mother. Amy felt the situation escalate from bad to worse as the woman's criticisms grew increasingly harsh and personal. Perhaps it was the fatigue or the unexpected personal attack, but Amy couldn't keep her composure. The woman's words struck a nerve, triggering Amy's self-doubts as a mother and her frustration with her demanding work schedule. She wondered if things would be different if she didn't have to work so much. Despite knowing she could easily set the record straight about her circumstances, Amy found herself overwhelmed with emotion instead of defending herself. As she turned away, trying to regain her composure, she felt a tap on her shoulder. A large man stood before her, asking if the woman was bothering her. Initially, Amy declined, saying it was okay. However, the man, Revealing he was off-duty, but still a police officer insisted. He had overheard the altercation and recorded it, offering to intervene and issue a warning to the woman. But Amy's response surprised everyone. Amy watched as the woman beside her grew visibly uneasy upon learning the man behind them was a police officer. Eager to assert her own authority, Amy turned to the man and smiled before redirecting her gaze to the woman, locking eyes with her. Funny thing, Amy began, her voice steady and confident. I'm a cop too. The woman's demeanor shifted, and she averted her eyes, clearly taken aback by this revelation. Amy thanked the man behind her for his offer of assistance, but the confrontation was far from over. Throughout the flight, Amy's daughter, Alyssa, had been remarkably well-behaved, occupied with her dolls. 
Now, as Amy prepared to impart a lesson to the woman, Alyssa's presence added a poignant element to the scene. Do you have kids? Amy inquired, her tone measured but firm. No. The woman replied, her demeanor noticeably more reserved. The knowledge that Amy had the law on her side seemed to humble her, providing Amy with the perfect opportunity to make her point. Amy calmly explained to the woman why she didn't meet her expectations of looking and smelling perfect. She urged the woman to be more mindful of others' lives and circumstances before passing judgment. Parenting is a challenging journey filled with both triumphs and tribulations, and Amy emphasized the importance of understanding this reality. Her story, shared by a witness, garnered an outpouring of support and gratitude for her service, while condemning the rude behavior of the woman. Women, especially single mothers who work, often face harsh scrutiny over their parenting. Amy's experience highlighted the need for greater empathy and appreciation for all mothers, acknowledging the difficulties they navigate in a demanding world.